I'm sure we all grew up playing sports, whether it was an organized team, playing basketball with your friends in the front yard, or even just going outside by yourself. We all engaged in some sort of physical activity. And for me, these were some of the best times of my childhood. However, that is not possible for everybody. This little girl named Kristen grew up with no movement from her waist down, and her fingers were curled like this, so she could not grab anything. As a child, she never got the privilege to play sports as we all did growing up. Now I want you to think about all the military men and women that lost limbs during battle. Maybe they have a kid back home and they can't play with it the same because they only have one arm or no legs. That little girl named Kristen turned out to be my brother's future wife and I got firsthand experience of how hard the life of a physically disabled person can be. This made me want to be more involved in their lives so they can be as active as we are. So I stumbled across the charity called Challenged Athletes Foundation. This charity wants to help with the high cost of adaptive sports equipment and the lack of resources that physically disabled people have in order to play sports. So I am calling you to donate to the Challenged Athletes Foundation so we can support the physically disabled people that never got to be as active as we are. So today, I will discuss the need that the physically disabled people have to play sports. Then, I will encourage you to show support to the Challenged Athletes Foundation. And lastly, I will, and lastly, I will illustrate how donating to this charity will help change the lives of the physically disabled. People with a physical disability have a need to play sports just like everybody else. Challengedathletes.org, which was last accessed on April 6, 2023, states that 50% of adults with a disability get no aerobic exercise. And to me, this is insane that half of the adults with a disability get no exercise. But it does not stop here. 38% higher obesity rate for children with a disability than children without. We are not giving these kids a fair chance to have physical exercise, which is leading to higher obesity rates, which is not good for them. The equipment is also very expensive. According to challengedathletes.org, a prosthetic leg is $15,000. And if you want both legs, that is $30,000. Wheelchair Junkie, a website that sells custom wheelchairs, states that you can expect to pay between $1,200 and $1,500 for a custom wheelchair. Now, Kristen was not lucky enough to have this money, along with many people nationwide today. So although the equipment is expensive, you can help somebody in need pay for it. Help the lives of the physically disabled and bring joy and exercise to those in need by donating to the Challenged Athletes Foundation. Since 1994, the CAF has raised over $147 million and have funded over 40,000 grant requests in all 50 states and 70 countries across 100 plus different sports. So as your parents and guardians are spending thousands and thousands of dollars on medical bills, they most likely won't be able to afford the sports equipment needed to play sports. This, the CAF will take that burden away from you and give you the sports equipment so you and your family can focus on one thing at a time. The CAF is also an upstanding and legitimate organization. CharityNavigator.org gives this charity a 92% rating, which gives them the highest rating of four stars. And they actually state, if this charity aligns with your passions and values, you can give with confidence. So not only are you donating to a reliable organization, but the donating process is incredibly easy. You go to www.challengedathletes.org, and in the top right corner of the screen, you will see a big orange box that says Donate. You will then see different values from which you can donate from, or you can enter your own amount. And personally, my favorite experience about donating is that you can write a special message to the person you are donating to, which allows you to feel more connected to that person. So your donation can help suffering kids and adults. Now, I want you to imagine, as a kid, never having movement from your waist down. You've had surgery after surgery, but yet nothing is working and you just want the ability to walk again. However, thanks, or after all that your friends and family have done for you, it, is, it seems to be coming to an end because they are financially incapable of buying another thing. However, thanks to the great charity of CAF, you can now finally have the equipment needed to play sports. 
And now I want you to stop imagining that story because some people don't have to imagine that story. Some people live that story every day in their lives. Those people would be named Kristen Osterhaus, the young lady who was mentioned earlier. Morgan Pixley, a little girl who lost her leg at two years old. But with the help of CAF, she got a prosthetic leg and is now training for a kid's triathlon. And Carson Fox, a young man who broke his leg during a high school football game, but then an MRI revealed he had a tumor in, his, in that leg and had to get it amputated. With the help of CAF, he got a prosthetic leg and is now playing the sports that he loves again. And one quote that I actually found really fascinating and stuck with me was Carson Fox saying, I may have lost my leg to cancer, but I did not lose my desire to compete. And that is exactly what the CAF gives these kids. It gives them not only the ability to play the sports they love, but the desire to compete again. With this donation to the reliable organization of CAF, you can help thousands and thousands of physically disabled, not only kids, but adults as well, live their dream of finally playing on a sports team or even just with their friends. Go to the CAF and donate today. The obesity rates for the physically disabled are rising to an overwhelming number, but we can help stop that just by donating and help improve the lives of the physically disabled. Thank you guys.